Hello, beautiful friends. Today we're going to be talking about basically a, you're going to get a twofer in this video where I'm going to be talking about the upcoming Mercury retrograde in the sign of Libra as well as the full moon in Pisces that uh, that happened within about six and a half hours of each other from late September 9th Eastern time to the morning of September 10th. So in this reading, I'm going to be looking at what is going to be specifically amplified around this particular full moon, because you know everything is amplified um, when the full moon energies are present. And also look at both the positive and the challenging aspects of this upcoming Mercury retrograde. And there will be an extended where I go more in depth into both of these energies, specifically also with the Mercury retrograde, we're going to be doing like a comparison of the energies before, during and after the retrograde to see the specific impact of this retrograde, again, in the sign of Libra, as well as more in depth about the full moon energies. So this is where you can learn about what's going on in the cosmos around you, because you guys know these energies affect us whether we are conscious of them or not. So why the heck not be conscious of them so that we can help navigate this time? Uh, there will be a little bit of guidance at the end of this reading for those of you not going to the extended, so do stay tuned. And welcome to my new subscribers. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. it. helps other people find my videos. So let's start with looking at actually, thank you. They're giving me, I'm going to go into the uh, Mercury retrograde first, because that is what um, officially Mercury officially stations retrograde uh, about six and a half hours before the moon is full. So I'm going to start off with taking a look at the energies of this upcoming Mercury retrograde. So what, let's see, what are the positive aspects of this particular retrograde? Wow, interesting that we're getting the action card simply because retrogrades can sometimes mean a slowing down. But to me, I'm getting this energy of um, like slowing down to speed up, if that makes sense. Where it's sort of almost like you're changing gears, you know, when you're driving a car, a stick car, whoever does that anymore. I'm sure there are plenty though. Um, where right as you're shifting gears, there's a bit of that like lull and then it goes forward into the next gear. So that is what I'm feeling here. What, um, let's pull the other cards. Okay, the healer of the ages and the thinking woman, okay. So right off the bat, what I'm getting in terms of the supportive aspects of this particular um, Mercury retrograde is if there's anything that's been left out of balance, anything that still needs to be healed, whether it's within your own world, within your own life, within your relationships, this is an opportunity to go back and revisit anything that needs to be fixed um, because it's preventing ascension. It's preventing uh, moving forward. It's like the energies of whatever has not been healed has been slowing you down or slowing the collective down. And it's like, so this is what they're saying is this is a very supportive, um, time because Mercury retrograde lasts three weeks. There's the pre-shadow and the post. So it's really longer than three weeks, but you know, right off the bat, they're coming in with a message of whatever's been not healed is preventing your soul growth because sometimes we avoid things sometimes we would rather just not revisit things which i get sometimes it's not worth it um for for some reasons however when it comes to your soul growth unfinished business can leave karmic knots can leave karmic uh, gaps that continue to play out until we close them out. So I feel like what this is a good, what they're saying here is this particular Mercury retrograde, it's like making amends, making things right, um, apologizing, communicating. Um, you know, 
what I'm, I'm hearing the words, what's been left unsaid. Let's add to this. Why is the thinking woman here? Yeah, it's like preventing abundance from coming in. It's like maybe um, whatever, whatever has sort of been, it's almost like where you have not gotten the fruits of your labor, it's because there's something left to be healed here. If you're not manifesting something, something's left to be um, seen, to be healed. And then once it is, it's like the universe takes off. It's like the universe is coming back to say, uh-uh-uh, like, don't forget to take care of this first before you run out the door to the next adventure. It's like, whoa, 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 you got your, you got your chores to do before you leave the house to go out and play. Is this sort of the message that I'm getting? And let me get another card on the Healer of the Ages. Okay, the first chakra. Again, it relates to any unresolved anger, um, any resentment. Almost like a feeling of fight or flight I'm getting. Because there's a very big difference between the first chakra energy and then the thinking woman energy. Because I got to tell you guys, sometimes um, frustration can drive positive behavior. It's almost like if you get so frustrated about something that it's almost like I got to make this right. You know, there's just this feeling of... Um, It's almost like there's that instinctive drive to heal something. Maybe something that started but didn't fully blossom into something beautiful. Maybe there's a part of you that, you know, is ready to do some deep healing work, some shadow work. And all of a sudden, it begins to move forward. Your life begins to move forward because you're finally addressing what you need to address. So let's take a look at the challenging aspects of this Mercury retrograde. What are the challenged energies? Wow, happy family in reverse. The angel of love. The man holding a coin. It's interesting because what what I'm also getting for this is a good what this is a good Mercury retrograde for is this energy of leaving unhealthy situations that maybe you stayed in because of security. Maybe you stayed with um, a more karmic like a karmic cycle that has ended because the the thinking woman to me represents more the sacred feminine energy which is someone that is doing their work, someone who's growing and ascending. And when both of these are coming in together and there's an unhealthy energy here, it's almost like I got to get out of an unhealthy situation. And this can apply in any area, right? Because the thinking woman, that's the feminine aspect of self, the intuitive side of self, where if it's like, you know what? I got to get out of here. I got to get out of this situation. I got to get out of this job. I got to get out of this relationship. It's not good for me anymore. And while the shadow may have been holding you back from taking that action, it's like your soul is driving you to get out of a situation that is not good for you. So this is a really good Mercury retrograde to just do what's best for you, do what's right for you. But what may be hard about doing what's right for you is that there could be a feeling of disappointment Right, Something that you thought was stable, something that you thought was secure, something that you thought you had worked towards just wasn't going to work out. 
again, there's why the Blossoming Abundance card is here. It's like, it just wasn't coming. To me, this four, the Happy Family card is similar to the Four of Wands in the Tarot. But it's like, what's hard about this is, while you may have hoped for success in whatever this was, it's like it's not, whatever's not meant to succeed is meant to be, if it's not meant for the long, long-term success, why continue putting the effort in, right? It's like you've already put in enough effort and time and energy, but this may be hard. It may be hard. Some people may be leaving families, um, kids behind. Uh, divorcing or their concept of happy family has been shattered. And what might be hard about this is there's a sense of responsibility, a sense of, you know, sadness, nostalgia. And what may be difficult about this, right, is it's just the fact that it's not going to be healed and that the ha it's not your ticket to happiness. And sometimes when you have to leave, I mean, it's not an accident that Blossoming Abundance, Door to Personal Healing and Happiness and Happy Family are in reverse. But I see that as a real positive. I see that as like, this is a really good Mercury retrograde to leave behind things that we may have a commitment to. This can be a career path. This can be a job. This can be a, par a committed partnership. And while there may be emotion here, there may be sort of a sense of love. It's not intimate with that second chakra in the reverse. The love is like, you know, you can have love for a situation, but it's not that intimate love of truly sharing that raw, true vulnerable connection, which is what is required for true happiness, true abundance. And the angel of balance, again, with both the healer of the ages and the angel of balance here, both in reverse, that is whatever was not good, not balanced. This could be there wasn't equal give and take, or you were putting more into it than you were getting out of it. Something was out of balance. This can relate potentially to addictions as well. And addictions can be to limiting beliefs, to patterns of relating and partnership, codependent patterns in relationships. But all of the beautiful, beautiful cards, um, to me, this is about, it's like you love yourself more. Maybe where you thought there was love, there really wasn't intimacy. Maybe you felt like you didn't really understand each other or it just wasn't a match anymore. I did a video over on my, um, oh, I don't know if I've posted it yet though. I did record a video the other day about the energetics of when situations change and karmic cycles end. Um, and I have not, I don't think I've posted it yet. I'm so sorry. But if you're going through this, I do have a podcast episode that's called when friendships end or, you know, friendships or other relationships end. And I speak to that because this can be somewhat a difficult situation. But to me, I feel like it's about restoring balance. And look at this. The thinking man is in reverse, too. So this is where the masculine and the feminine energy. Um, again, unhealthy not meant to blossom, not meant to continue, not meant to develop into more abundance. It's like karmic, karmic things are coming to an end, karmic lessons, you know, and we have those lessons that we learn. We have experiences, we have relationships, we have situations we have to go through in order to learn and grow. And once we've learned the lesson, it doesn't mean we have to stay there. It's like you've learned it. It's run its course. The lesson is complete. And now you just have to leave and move on. So let's take a look at, um, so on top of this, this is sort of the theme of the Mercury retrograde. Let's now take a look at the, um, 
and I'm going to pull some guidance at the end. But uh, let's look at the aspects of the full moon in Pisces. What is going to be amplified with this full moon in Pisces? And again, that will be the next leading up and a little couple weeks after leading up to the new moon that we have in Libra. So what is amplified here in our thoughts? The chariot, again, not an accident, guys, right? It's like we got to go forward in life. The moon, funny, I saw that at the bottom of the deck. And the eight of cups walking away. It's like when the when the when your intuition tells you you gotta go. I'm out of here, even though. Um, but you're looking towards a brighter future. It's like you're finally ready to leave. Interesting with this moon card. There's a man on a horse here going towards the moon. It's like, this is a, this is, it's like many of you might be getting the signal consciously around this full moon in Pisces. Like, it's go time. I got to do it. I've been holding off on doing it, whatever it is. But it, the time is now. And I'm going to trust my intuition to lead me. It's time for me to move on towards my ultimate happiness, towards my emotional fulfillment. I'm leaving this emotional investment behind because I know that I'm seeking more. You know, there's a reason that this love, angel of love card here is in the challenged energy, right? Because there's this feeling of, I did invest emotionally in, in whatever this is that I'm leaving. However, it's time for me to go. So what are the emotions that are going to be amplified? What emotions are being amplified? The Knight of Cups. The Knight of Wands. Wow. And the Temperance card. Okay. So the emotions being amplified are certainly action. Uh, passionate action. Fast action. I got to go for it energy coming through in multiple cards here. I got to go for it. That's the Knight of Wands, the Chariot, the Forward Action card. For some of you, this can mean um, making a move in a, in a relationship, opening up your heart to something. For some of you, it's almost like, I know I have to be patient with this process, but I have to begin the process. The process isn't just going to happen overnight. Whatever I am fixing, whatever I'm healing, whatever I am going towards for my happiness, is that the happiness is in the future, but it is going to take a little time. And so the feeling is, is a little bit of... Um, Trying to integrate the, the speed and the emotions of what's happening, right? So there's a, a feeling of going for it, but then the emotions are there too. And so it's like having the emotions catch up with the actions and kind of balancing the two. Whereas the temperance card here, the yeah, there's a little bit of a conflict between going for it and then this the feelings around the action that you're taking because there is emotions invested in whatever you are leaving behind. However, you're ready. This guy's like, okay, see how he's even standing. He's sitting here like, okay, I got it. I'm ready to go. I've, I've dealt with it. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get in my chariot and charge forward towards my future. But um, the amplified energies and the emotions, there could be a bit of feeling conflicted. Again, torn between what action you know you need to take for your happiness, but also the emotions of doing so. What instincts are going to be amplified? 
instincts are sort of like, what are we just instinctively going to be feeling like doing? Wheel of Fortune. The instinct is like, it's time now. It's go time. Like I said, I have to act on what I've discovered about myself. And the decision is made. The decision has been made by me and by the, the divine has handed me this decision. I know what I need to do. I need to get out of stuck energy. I need to get out of, of um, I need to act on what I've discovered because the time is now. And the instinct is to sort of open up to what the divine is making you do. The choice that you know that you need to make for your happiness. Because there's justice here, right? Again, I've kept speaking about karmic cycles, lessons, everything's being okay. Like this is impartiality. This is the best thing for everyone involved. Even though it might have some em painful emotions attached to it. It's what's fair. There's nothing I can do. This decision has already been made. For, for this situation. And again, with the justice card, some of you are leaving, be, leaving committed, committed situations behind. And the instinct here is to go for something new, try something new. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to grow. I'm ready to try something new. I'm ready to start a new job. I'm ready to start a new relationship. I'm ready to start a new path. I'm ready to move to a new place. And I'm kind of excited for what I'm going to learn along the way. So the instinct is going to be, ironically, to move from being in the... Is, the instinct is going to be amplified with this full moon to kind of get out of... It's like acting on what you've discovered about yourself. It's finally doing something about what you've figured out, if that makes sense. And it's and that it's the right time because you've been daydreaming about it for far too long. It's like whatever your heart has been yearning for, whatever you've been dreaming about, whatever you've been, you know, thinking about in your head that's driving you to leave behind whatever you're leaving behind the instinct around this full moon is like i need to do something about what i've been dreaming about right this can be going back to school this can be starting something new this can be moving on so this is kind of the combination of this mercury retrograde with this full moon in pisces you know, and if you think about it, Pisces is the final sign in the Zodiac before it begins with Aries, which is the initiator. Pisces is sort of wrapping things up, closing things up to go to something new. It's like, okay, I've wrapped up that chapter and now I'm ready to go forward. I know what I want to do and I'm going to go for it. So for those of you not having the extend, I'm going to leave you with a guidance message here. But in the extended, like I said, we're going to go more into the Mercury retrograde specifically, along with the full moon. We're going to see what's closing out. We're going to see what is releasing once and for all. Uh, we're going to look for the Mercury retrograde, kind of the before, during, and after this retrograde to see the impact specifically of what this retrograde period will do in our lives. But what's the best guidance, Archangel Michael, for this period of time for the next, I'd say, Three weeks approximately. Focus upon divine and perfect health. Again, focusing upon perfect health and guiding my actions so they support my well-being. We have had that message throughout. Focusing on what it is that's healthy for you. For some of you, this is about writing, about your thoughts and feelings. Maybe that'll help you express things, gain insight and gain healing, and also detach from the situation. So this is asking you to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that you can be centered in the knowing that peace is everywhere within you and the situation. 
So my friends, um, I hope you like this video. If you do, do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, hitting the notifications bell. I'll see some of you in the extended. That link is down below. And until next time, bye.